So here's the problem with this TV. It turns on, the backlights come on, there's sound, I'm going to raise the volume, you can hear the volume indicator, but there's no picture, there's no on-screen display, the menu will not show, and if it's connected to a cable box or antenna, there's no display. So we have TV turns on, backlights on, sound, no display. Usually that means the LCD panel itself has an internal short. We're going to see if that's the case and if we discover by testing that the LCD panel is shorted, we're going to try to fix it using the cutoff method. So those are our two goals in this video. Test the LCD panel, see if it's shorted. Goal number two, see if we can fix it using the cutoff method. Okay, we've got the TV apart, and what we're looking at is the timing control board. There are two flat pack cables. Uh, this one would control this side of the screen. The other one controls the other side. Chances are the short is going to be on only one side of the panel. So if we disconnect the shorted side, the other side should come on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to disconnect these one at a time, turn on the TV, and see if we can get half of the display to work. Okay, still no picture with this side disconnected, so we're going to turn the TV off, reconnect it, try the other side. Okay, we've got the left side disconnected now, and we'll repeat the same procedure. Hey, look at that. We suddenly have the display working again, so that tells me we have a shorted LCD panel, and the short is on, well, as we're looking at it, our left side is, if this were actually orientated correctly, it would be the right side of the screen. Let's see if we can fix it using the little-known cutoff method. Now, the tool that we're going to use to find the short is the backing from this mailing label material. It's just a very thin, waxy material, and we're going to cut that off and use it. So what we're going to do is insert this material into the connector. I've only cut about 3 eighths of an inch here. My experience, the problem is usually on the left side. Okay, we've got that piece of material underneath the flat pack cable. We're going to turn back on see if we get any kind of display on that side. See if we get any kind of display at all. Because if the short has been reconnected, there will be no display. And the short has been reconnected, we got no display at all. So we just move it. Okay, there's where it was. We're going to move it to the left and see what happens. Okay, full screen is on. Both sides. So let's see how we got that. Now, I want to point out that we have little tick marks here. And we can see 0, 5, 10, 15. So we've covered lines 0 to 15. For the best possible picture, we only want to cover the lines that are shorted. We want the other lines to work. So we're going to move this to the right until we get no picture again because that will reveal the first shorted line. In the interest of speed, I've moved it to the right exposing the first five lines. 
So if we have no display again, then that would mean that the short is in that bank of the first five. And we could do it one at a time. Of course, that would take longer to identify the actual line. But let's see what happens with those five lines exposed. We know it's in the first 15. Now let's see if it's in the first five. Okay, we've got the thing turned back on now. And let's see what we got. Oh, no display. So we know it's in the first five lines. Okay, that helps. Now, to aid in troubleshooting, it helps to elevate the TV a little bit. I've just got a 2x4 with a towel here so I don't scratch anything, and a, another 2x4 here on this other side. Now, I've already found the lines that are bad in this, so let's turn it on and see what it's going to be like. So I've turned it on. I have a mirror here. I'm going to kind of squirt my mirror underneath. There's the left side of the TV, which is my right. So the whole screen is lit and working. Of course, we have no signal, no input. So you just get this static on it. So it's working. All right, now let's turn it off and see what I found. Now the method that we use is we notch, we take a little piece of very thin material, but it has to be just stiff enough to disconnect these lines. And you, you move it back and forth until you get both sides of the screen to light up. So and then you have to move it one line at a time until such time as the screen goes out again. So if I expose lines five and six, the screen will not light. If I cover five and six, the screen does light, so uh, that's the procedure. You just keep moving this back and forth until you get the screen to come on. Then the second step is you move it again to narrow it down to the, you only want to cover the exact number of lines that are shorted. So it's very, very easy to do this. It doesn't cost any money. You can accomplish this repair literally within minutes. Uh, and you would be amazed at how many TVs you can rescue using the cutoff procedure. So let's go notch that cable, put it all back together, see what it looks like. Okay, so using, uh, started with a razor knife and just scored the cable and then finished cutting it with a little tiny trimmer, scissors. I took those two lines out. You can see it here. And I did it from this side because that's you could see where the lines were. Can't really do it from that side. Let's put it back in the TV, see what it looks like. Okay, we're back together. We're going to turn it on and see if it goes. I have just two lines cut. And no joy. Well, here we are. We've got it all back together. I actually end up cutting four lines. That would be lines four, five, six, and seven. Of course, that would be different on every TV. But considering that we had no video at all, video has been restored. Looks pretty good didn't cost any money. It is a fiddly job. So next we're going to go into some tips so that you can be successful with the cutoff method. Verify that the LCD is shorted by disconnecting the flat pack cables one at a time. If it is, observe the status LEDs on the TCON board. Understand that this is a trial and error procedure, always power off between tests. Understand that precision is required. 
Tape down the insulator every time to keep it from moving. Use a magnifying glass and triple check everything. Only cover the exact line or lines that are shorted. When this method works, picture quality will be reduced, but many people cannot tell the difference. Good luck. Thanks for watching.